Good evening, classmates. Good evening, Dr. Ernestine Adolfo. I'm very proud of you to record about the metamorphosis, and we're talking about also literary criticism. Okay, literary criticism is a evaluation, analysis, description, or interpretation of literary works. It is useful in the form of a critical essay. So let's talk about the author of the metamorphosis, about Franz Kafka. Okay. He was born in Prague in 1883. Although his passion was for writing and it never served as a livelihood and only had to his stories, were published before he died of tuberculosis at the age of 40. Though largely known during his lifetime, he was come to regard him as one of the most influential writers of the 20th century. His short story, The Metamorphosis, and it was considered to be his masterpiece during his time. Okay. The metamorphosis. Let's start the initial situation. The initial situation that was about, it seems odd to begin story with what should be ending after all. He, um, he woke up in early in the morning, then was shocked because he turned into a vermin. Then after that, he was suffered and uh, making some excuses about his work because during that time he suffered the pain and um, something something questioning about his um, thoughts that there's a changes of his body. Then after all, in the time, month, days, years, his family helped him to recover that burden that he felt. And afterwards his family arguing because the salary, the income, income of the the entire, the entire of the family is needed because after that time he has no job. Then the salary becomes lesser, 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 lesser. Then he realized that he is a burden of his family. After that, he tried to go closer to his sister to say something that what was his feeling that become a vermin after all. And by the time his family realized that he is burdened, and his father tried, not only trying, but he really tried to work to bombard him because he is a sort of burden in his family. Then after that, his sister was playing a violin and she, she was trying. She was trying to approach into his sister's shoulder just to reach out. The sounds, the music of the violin. And after that time, Vigor died. Then, his family decided to have a vacation after all because the, his family his family agreed to be to get rid of him during that time. Then they they set a, a vacation after Rigor died. That's all. That's about the metamorphosis, the transformation. So it is about a literary criticism, right? Yes, sir. So can you give us an abstract in six sentences? Okay, abstract in six sentences, sir. Um, first, the initial situation we could wake up one morning and find himself turning to a bug. Then we go to sleep in horror and Disgust when reveals his new form to his family and his supervisor. Then both Rigor and his uh, family attempt to accommodate Rigor's condition. Then, moved by his sister's real playing, Rigor leaves his room in an effort of culture. Then he exposes himself to family's borders, however, and chaos ensues. After some discussion, the family agrees that they must get rid of Rigor. So deliver your report or your abstract without reading. It seems that you're reading. We're not supposed to read. 
Yeah, no, say something. Oh, the first, first, sir, I'll give no, you the top. There's no need to, to count so first, second, no. Just a summary, encapsulate what you have understood of the story in six sentences. That's why we call that abstract. Okay, so sir. the abstract of the story is very important because you only have your important events that that cater to all the uh, situations from the very beginning up to the end. First day in the morning, he woke up and um, he realized that he's trying to go out. And after that, he is uh, making some excuses in order for him to, to, to alibi from his boss because of his condition. And he suffered pain, a lot of pain because he's turning into a walk. Then after that, he is a burden with his family because, uh, because he has no work anymore. Then after that, um, his family tried to get rid of him, then he really did. Then his family, they decided after we crossed them to have a vacation. Continue. That's it. Continue now with your report. Okay. The initial situation, as I said, it was all about his transformation. Then the conflict, uh, conflict or complication is the um, his enemy is his himself, of course. Then the climax there is he knows or he knew that his family tried to get rid of him. Then the suspense there is his father tried to convert him because of his condition and he is a burden and of course the dilemma we were dying we were dying because his father because of his father's treatment and because as what has the big point of rigors with um, family because the story based on the story that rigors really appreciated the pain that 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 was felt by his family because he doesn't have a, a purpose, a purpose to raise his family because uh, he was not turned into a bug. He was trying to raise his family. His family, as long as he can, or as for example, um, he worked for his entire life to, in order to raise his family. The, the conclusion, the, his family decided decided to have education after the more than details about Vigor's condition. When you talk of conclusion, does it mean that it is part of the denouement of the story? The denouement of the story, yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, if that is the part of the denouement of the story, is it tragic or is it happy or is it is it sad? You have to... Sir, it's sad. Your answer. Because Why is it sad? Vigor's, because Vigor is so it is sad. It is melancholic. So that's the end now for the plotted part because we're talking about the plotted parts of the story. So you have already given us, delivered your report based on the exposition. After that, uh, we have the involution or the complication or rising action or conflict. Then after that, you also delivered your report based on the other plotted part and that is climax. Is there a falling action to that uh, explanation yes, of yours? Is there a of your story? When, um, when he feels that he is not important anymore in his family because he doesn't use, uh, I mean, um, he can provide something for himself to his family because, of course, he turned into a bug or into a permit. Okay, can you explain more? What is that word? Simplify it for us. Oh, okay, sir. I would say a German uh, word. Mm -hmm. German, German is a bug. An English word is a bug, it's an animal, it's an insect. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, when we talk of insect, this is insect, what kind of insect is that? What a kind bug. of insect? Huh? Bug. How B -U -G. do you spell it? B -U -G. Okay, bug. That yes, is a bug. bug. Okay, very good. Now, proceed to the next uh, part. Or the next... Uh, are you now proceeding to the application of the literary criticism or you are still yes, on, um, on yes, the interpretation, the, or interpretation the, point the point of view or the theme etc. So just follow it up to you what if that is an order, do it in order or 
you can skip that and proceed to the next one it's up to you if you if you're not arranging your uh, technical analysis to your report it's up to you as long as you have to deliver I can that. explain in my own in my in my own yes understanding sir yes. regarding the report okay oh sir regarding my report um bigger sensa bigger sensa mm -hmm. um when he worked by the way we have the three levels right the three levels the in, le levels of interpretation the yes, literal interpretation. level, oh, interpretation, the interpretation, interpretative level, oh, interpretative and then level. evaluative level. Interpretative the three of them are also applicable to your report, to your yes. to the topic literary criticism. Yes. Okay, you do that. Explain that more. I want you okay, to expound more on the interpretation of your report of your of your content, the story itself, mm -hmm. and enlighten us some some doubts if there are doubts or something like it is. Not clear for us so that we can understand what is what mm -hmm. is the report all about. My um, interpretation or interpretive level. Yes. The story, I am not really convinced the story. What about the literal level? Can you cite even the part of the story that you can follow literally exactly the words in the story? You can choose any part, any part of the, the story wherein you can recall. The, what has been written there in your story uh, yes, sir. and with then the repeat time, that for us with the time uh, we feel that is that the exact word yes. written there or yes, sir. you only yes, sir. make that on your own way of no, I am recalling my own way, sir. what does it uh, what did the, the story tell us inform us or say about saying about sir, when uh, he told himself that I you am. are narrating you are not even quoting you have to quote first what has been written there in the in the story, in the just story. in a par just in a paragraph, and that paragraph Firstly, will depend sorry. on the kind of plotted part. What part is that that you are going to the, interpret literally? The explanation. Huh? The explanation. What, the what, what part? The exposition. The first sentence. Is that the exposition? Yes, sir. So uh, do you know what is exposition, right? Yes, sir. You have the characterization, the characters, in setting, etc. The language, even language. Okay. Uh, restate that or quote that first and then so you want me to you want me to mimic the the, the entire that is literal no not the entire part but only the chosen part of the story if it is in the climax part or the denouement part or the involution part as long as you only pick out the best uh, plotted part that you think can share with us that you can share with us for further explanation in the literal level then after that you can share with us also the interpretative level because you said that it is applicable because the interpretation the three levels of interpretation are also applicable to your story okay, right did you say that a while yes. ago if that is the case I want you to explain more and apply what has been written there in your report in your topic just only word for word there exactly word written there in a paragraph cite only an example uh, for example if it falls on the involution then pick out only that portion the paragraph wherein you're going to say it you quote it quote it again did you get what i mean yes that is for literal you say that because i instead of repeating uh, based on the content of the story, just only pick out the important event, the, the yes, part sir, no. there. Then, if it is under the involution category or climax category or falling uh, action or the involution. Okay, okay, if so, that is, um, if you have already chosen the involution, yes, the then you have to quote it. Quote. Okay, sir. Why? Why I change? Uh, why? Why there's a change of my mind? I can't control myself. Why is it happening to me that my thoughts become lesser? I can't think well. That's the that's the whole part. Okay, so so the conflict there is a conflict. Yes. Based sir. on that quoted Based part. The, yes. There is a conflict. Yes, what what kind of conflict um, is that? Conflict between um, man versus himself, of course. Man versus himself. Okay, why is it man versus himself? Yes, of course, sir, because when you think a basic story, basic story, sir, mm -hmm. um, he really tries to, to become normal, to become normal, but he can't do, he can't do because of his transformation. Okay, so it's about him. Yes. The sir. problem is intrapersonal. 
Yes. Sir. Problem. Okay. The personal problem. Yeah. How can so you? Very free to handle those things because it really happens inside of him. How can you change that to interpretative level? If we yeah, base really that good. quoted part of yours under the involution. The interpretation. Uh, the interpretation regarding my own my own understanding. You you choose because yes. you chose. I am going to. Because you chose I'm, what? I'm going to defend my um. My answer in two interpretative level. Now what I mean, you quoted the yes, involution mm -hmm. part, right? Literally. If you can, uh, let's say, change that to interpretative level to uh, to the connotation because you're going to yes, sir. just like that. to apply the symbolism or figurative language. If we can apply that or symbolize or or connote, if you can uh, imply. How can you, they say, Inter interpret that yes, sir. based on the metaphorical level? This is about metaphorical level. Yes, sir. Okay. Of course, um, he can't even think, like he can't even do anything what he wanted to do because of this transformation. So is that the in interpretation yes, sir. of that part? Yes, sir. Then try to think if, if you will become an insect, so how are you going to do things? So that is a symbolism for you? Uh, yes. For example, what, uh, what is the symbolism of a bird? If we talk about a, a bird, what does it symbolize? Something like that. What does it connote? For example, uh, a bird, bird literally eagle. a bird, we say eagle is a bird. Literally, it is a bird, right? Yes. If you try to go uh, deeper to, to raise your understanding of a bird, a, an eagle as a bird, then how are you going to understand the symbolism of a bird? What does it symbolize? When we talk of a bird, it symbolizes, symbolizes what? Symbolizes a freedom. Yes, very good. Something like that. Yes. So the same quoted part that I want you to share with us on your report, based on your chosen quoted part, as what you said a while ago, as what you reiterated. Become a bird, sir. That's that's it. For the metaphorical level, it, yes, it turned to? To a verb. Okay. Or into a verb. Okay, very good. Now, proceed now. If there is another application to the evaluative level, yes, is, is there a reaction to the story, positive yes, reaction, um, or the negative based reaction? Based on my understandings regarding the story. Okay, kindly give us the positive oh, the, side and the negative side. Evaluation. If you knew. The author, you can include also the background of the author uh, for the positive course, side. Um, um, Kafka. Kafka is a very clever writer or author as well. But I am not really convinced about the Anacolokan. That is for the negative yes, side sir. for him. Negative side of um, Franz Kafka about his um, masterpiece. Yeah. An Asian yeah. author or European author or American uh, author? British, sir. A uh, British author. Yeah, I am not really convinced the author, sir, because um, when you really... Um, uh, Is it hard to, to understand the yes, content, the story, uh, yes, when you read that really, only once, yeah, twice? Once, yeah. You have to read that how many times? So many times in order for you to understand So you mean story. it's a deep English? The, the English no, is very profound for us to understand. Is it very mm, profound? No, very deep? That's so. That's so. But so meaning very, it is um, very profound. Yeah. Intuitive twist. Okay. Yes. Uh, something like that. There is a lot of twisting. So meaning that the literature there is w w is very important in applying the story yes, itself, right? Because yes. when you talk of literature, you have to go deeper to go deeper your understanding. Deeper to raise your understanding. So it's not only important. enough for you to say that it's enough that you read only once, but you have no, to read no, you several read times so that you can more. grasp at the entirety of yes, the sir. content of the story. You must read it all twice okay. or twice, read it twice. So if you have given the negative side about the author as well as the content, what about the positive side? There, is there a positive side on behalf of the author who, who yes, wrote there that is story? A positive side, sir. Okay. When uh, we brought up his family, his entire life he is working for his entire life in order for in order for him to raise his family. That's the positive side there. The metamorphosis. Is it a true to life story? No. Yes, I can. I can say that, sir. Okay. Yeah, did you research that? That uh, yes, it is sir. based on the maybe to I life based on story? reality, of course, sir. Because I can feel that. Okay. What is the point of view? Do you have the point of view there? What is the point of view of the story? 
point of view of this story is um, what do you mean by when we talk of the point of view, it's not only your opinion because we're applying. No, no, no we're applying. It's not an opinion, really, because it's not. It, it is literature. It's the, the, the point. No, no. The, the point of view there in in layman's term is opinion, but it's not that opinion yeah. in literature. It is your understanding of the content. If if the, the one who narrates it belongs to the third person point of ah, view, okay. person then the third. second person point of view, or the first person po point of view, or the other one is third person point of view, omniscient point oh, of view, limited omniscient, or limited. Sir, third person limited omniscient, because the narrator um, narrator plant Gregor's mind. Yeah. Yeah. It talks about Gregor's. Why did you say limited only? Limited. Uh, um, yes, sir. Because third uh, third person point of view. Omniscient. Yes, sir. Because it's all about. It's all about omniscient thinking. is yes. all knowing. Take note of that. Yes, sir. All knowing. All knowing. Then limited is it's not all knowing because it, it uh, it's limited yes. point of view. Limited omni I can say that limited omniscient sir because they, they as well said that the idea was um uh, the ideas were planted on Rigor's mind. Yeah. And everything everything that happens in the apartment was all about Rigor's um Rigor's Rigor's that one because thoughts of knowing something regarding the happenings inside the apartment okay i can see but that it was limited because it's not the entire story that uh, the the uh, author's uh, writing was based on Rigor's mind okay yes. very good well said now proceed to the next one aside from the point of view what is the theme there is a theme yes sir magical realism what did you say that, that the theme is about magical uh, realism? Just say, for example, sir, as of now, uh, when you think that, uh, try to, uh, when we um, realize our daily life, sir, as of now, if we're going to put it in reality, so try to think when you woke up, then you'll become a, when you woke up, you'll become a vermin. Then, if we are going to put that in our reality as of now, so like drip. So for example, the morning star, the moon that's not a lot of then then it's just thinking about that, the transformation, oh my god, you can just say that you can be above, you can be above, of course, without knowing that you're just sleeping, maybe there's something wrong. So there's that's why you your... came up with uh, understand, understanding the, the theme as magical, as magical realism. Yes. Because yeah, it is uh, magical. Of, it, yes, I can say that it is magical, but there is some sort of um, reality about the story. Was there a proof to that? Did you research that also on the internet? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, don't you think that it's magical realism because it's magical because uh, it is impossible for you to wake up one morning and you will become a bug. But because uh, it's reality, it, it also talks about reality because when you become a bug, you'll realize that it's very hard to to um, to not to earn a living anymore when you are uh, when you are disabled. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's also about the ability to yeah, just like in real so life you are no situation. longer a contributor to our society because you are now yeah, an insect. When you become immediately um, a disabled person, yeah, because you cannot help your family anymore. So uh, that's the realism of it. So magical yeah. realism can it be turned to can it be turned to non-fiction part of the story if we can do that? Do you believe in? I can, turn, I, can, I can turn the whole story into a non-fiction without using it to into a vermin. Yeah. Yes, sir. So for example, I think um, um, when we go part in the story, maybe that's an. So is it possible? Is it possible that it can be turned to, to non-fiction? Yes, yes, sir. Story. Non-fiction. Non-fictional, sir. Of course. Why is it non-fiction? I, I can change those stories without fiction but i can change that magical realism negative. can also be part as uh, yeah, fiction negative feelings. fiction negative feelings, negative so when emotion. we talk of magical realism is it fictional or non-fictional fiction, fiction. it's a fiction of course right of course. but can it be turned to non-fiction if non which part condition ah, there. you can also remove some maybe some other magical uh, uh, yes the, words the, that the are found scene, the important scene there 
I can. So there is I a possibility. Can. Yes, there is a possibility. So how can you go, how are you going to change it to a non-fictional story? Non-fictional, yes sir. Um, when you wake up sir, then you're going to change his, his self to be a bad person sir. Yeah. To become a bad person, then he's not going to take care of his family anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, um, like you don't care. You just care for yourself. Like that. Then, then you will find money, you will find everything you wanted to, then you become as what you are. Then nobody nobody will care for you. Yes, of course. Then that's the thing that you will be a vermin. Because you're not helping with others. Because, except only for yourself. Uh, you're yes, only thinking course. about yourself. He's working for himself. Also. Okay. Do you have an idea or notion about the form of your story? What is the form of your story? Form of the story. Yeah. What do you mean by form of the story? The, the in that is genre. a literary term. Where in it's like it's like genre, but uh, yes. the the form is the form that I am asking is about. Is it about drama? Is it about comedy? Is it about a, what? Is it a comedy comedy or a drama? A heavy drama? A farce? That is a form, just like a genre of the story. I, um, or, I, yes, I can say critical analysis. Is it analysis, adventure? Is it adventure? Of, no, sorry, that's word of critical analysis, and I can say that it is. It is a, a form of yes. heavy drama? Yes, sir. Um, Tragedy? Drama? What, what, what is that? Tragic? Is it? Tragic. It's not a tragic comedy, sir, because it's not a tragic drama. It's not a tragic drama. Yes, it's having no sense. Yes, I can say it is a. Psychological. So, psychological. kindly, kindly make it specific. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What, what is psychological? A novel, sir. Part? Is it acceptable? Yes, novel. Yes, it's, a, it's a form of novel. Yes, dramatic novel. novel. No. Yes, dramatic novel. Dramatic mm. or tragic novel or adventurous. No drama, sir. Because it's I, a I, drama. I couldn't say uh, tragic because there is no tragedy there. Okay, so it, it was only a a, a novel, a dramatic novel. Dramatic novel. Yes, sir. Because it is a very long story. There, there are a lot of chapters. Not so far, but but yes. Do you know yes, what sir. is the difference between a story and a and novel? A novel. Yes, there's sir. a big difference there. Yes, if we talk about the story. You see, novel. There's a lot we of talk about, chapters. Okay. Yeah, a lot of chapters. The of the so the characters. form of the story is based on novel. your report. You say that that it's like a dramatic novel. Yes, Did sir. you research on that? Yes, sir. Did you find it there in the internet that it should be the dramatic novel? Yes, sir. How yes, sir. Absolutely, you, sir. Why do you base it as a dramatic novel? It, for me, it, it seems complicated to understand why is it dramatic novel because when we talk of novel, of course, it's a very long story with with a lot of chapters, with chapters, with different scenes that we have. Then what, what makes you say that it's a dramatic novel, if that is the form? I'm talking only the, is it a drama, adventure, is it a comedy, is it a farce? And then you say that a dramatic novel. Yes, Why did you say that? Can you yes, support? Can you justify yes, your answer? Based on the story, sir, mm -hmm. um, uh, when Vigor when failed that um, um, he's not important anymore with his family, then um, his uh, sister, his sister really cared for him. So that makes and the, the that story makes dramatic. That story become dramatic. Yes, sir. Because of that. By the time when, when his sister played the the, the violin, mm -hmm. since um, the since the, the day the day he will become a vermin. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I could also say that, that when the time when the time he's trying to go closer to his sister, then try to approach. Of what he felt inside, and on his, and also on his mind. May I have the opinion from the classmates of yours? Uh, any of you there? Uh, is it? Uh, can we consider that that it's a dramatic novel? Would you like to explain that? Anybody from the two of you there? Can I have your word, Mr. Galis? Okay, Mr. So Galis. Yeah. I would think that it's a psychological story. Yeah. Because. Um, the pattern of the story talks about the transformation 
and how it affects the, the entire family and how it affects the person himself, how it how it became a reason what how it became a reason of his death, mm -hmm. as the reporter said. The, the it is more appropriate is, that, that that part psychological. Yes. Story. Uh, as the as the reporter said that um, Rigor died because he became so depressed. Um, with the rejection of his family, so mm -hmm. uh, I would think that the entire story really talks about uh, how difficult life could be if you became um, disabled. disabled. Yeah. Would you agree with that, reporter? With that? Uh, As a reporter. I want to agree with this because you know what, sir, you're talking about you're talking about the the gender. Well, we're not talking the, the critical analysis yet. Okay, genre. You're talking about the genre. she's talking about about the psychological approach mm -hmm. and we are not yet there so you mean that psycholo psychological approach is not applicable as of this moment as of this uh, time uh, yes, that sir, you are reporting we are not yet done with the, um, with the so you, you, you won't agree with her or maybe yes she has the point maybe the point. for psychological approach maybe but that is not the main point that uh, you yes, share with us the main, point. The, main, the main point there is about the the gender Okay, if that is the general of the story, okay, let, let us change Let us change the question from genre, from the form of the story to the structures of the story from, chrono uh, from chronological order to the end, meaning chronological order from the start to the end, right? In 10 important but meaningful events in the story from the start up to the end. Kindly count from 1 to 10, just share with us yes, yes, the sir, most word, important word events, details, the details, the scenes, the scenes in sentences, in 10 sentences. Can I count, sir? Oh yeah, yeah. it's okay. Okay, first sir, when he realized he became an insect when he woke up, mm -hmm. then he tried to... So that was the, 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 the very beginning? Yes, the, the very beginning of this story about the metamorphosis. When he woke up? Woke up, he became a vermin. Okay. He realized. That is number one. one. Yes, sir. Number That's two. Number one. Second, sir. It was just a feelings. It was just the first and the beginning of the uh, the numbness of his body during that time. So he really tried to have the the table schedule of the train, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean the time. The time. He really want. He really want to catch up the time before the departure of the train. Okay, that is number yes. two. Yes, that's number two. Mm -hmm. The number three. His boss was trying to reach him because he was absent for how for um for fifteen days, fifteen days, ten days, five days like that. Then fourth, his boss thinking that there's something wrong with him because in fifteen years of service he doesn't have quit a an absent an absent sir of that service. Fifth. Um, fifth, he realized that the numbness and the pain that he felt when he became a vermin. Say, sir, um, her sister was trying to was trying to um, care for him, care for him, just um, um, giving him the food, something like that. Um, personal approach because he was um, transforming during that time, of course, the sympathy. Then seven, um, he realized that, what food is this? What food is this? I don't want to eat this, because it's flesh. Then, this is flesh, this is fresh, I don't like to eat this. Then he realized himself that he couldn't eat those foods that was um, gave to his sister. Then, A, he realized that he is not important to his family anymore because of what was happening to himself, because of his transformation during that time. Then, by nine, Rigor died. Rigor died because of the problem of his family, because of the um, the food, the the um, the money, the money to be um, um, consumed, well, the day passed by. There is no income anymore. 
there's no income anymore, there's something like that, and her sister is selling top breaks like that. It was very hard for his family. Of course, that's one reason that he died. And one reason also when his father bombarded him. Then, when last time, sir, his family decided decided to have education because they think that Morgan was already gone because of his death. There was no turning back or reverting to his original formation? No. Oops. Until yeah. he, he died, he finally died. Yes, no uh, transformation, original, uh, the, the original transformation yes, has not um, been yes, based taken on the story, place. Yeah, he died, he died right. as a bomb. Okay. Can you please um, lower your voice, please, so that I can really understand what you're talking about? Why is there a sound Why did he transform? Yes, um, according, according to the story, based on the story, that he transformed because of the burden himself. Because he was, um, he was helping his family his entire life just to raise his family's um, future. Something like that, a sort of that. When you go deeper in a literary system, is that the way you must do have? Uh, you must do think very, very much about the story because the story is a very, um, very connotative answer. I don't know if you know what's connotative. So that is uh, too deep for for us, to the three of us here to understand, or it was it is so difficult for us to understand that. Can we? Simplify the term for everyone, especially those who are watching us outside. And I think, sir, there is no need for you to to be for your classmates, to, to hide. for the the audience outside. Okay, also. I think there is no need for you to worry because, as what well, I have read about the story, mm -hmm. I explained it well, and I can also say that you really understood what I'm talking about. Okay, so kindly simplify it if if. You want to simplify it in a very understandable word. Like what, sir? The, the, the word that you gave us. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, the okay, sir, it's about the um, narrator. Mm -hmm. It's about the writing, sir. Um, about um, you, you were writing a story, and it was really hard for you to understand the page, the page first, second, third, fourth. Then you just can't realize it by the end of the story. It was very, very good. That's the other call plan. Okay. So I guess you were saying that um, uh, the question was, what was the reason why he, he transformed into a government? Right? And I guess you answered that uh, because he was working very hard for his family and uh, he worked his entire life. He did not even got one absence from, yeah, from work. From work yeah. mm. in 15 years. So why do you think that um, his family we're so relieved after he died. Relieved after he died, of course. Relieved family, of course, why not? So, based on my understanding, of course, you don't have a use of your family, of course. You're handicapped, useless. So, I could also say that it was helpful for, helpful for them to get rid of him. Of course, because I think you are gonna be a burden. There's no income. He died in natural death, or there was a mercy killing. There was. You, a, no, there was a, are no, you familiar with euthanasia? No, there's no euthanasia. There's no mercy killing there. Mercy killing. According because according to the story it was um, first uh, first attempt was his father who murdered him. Then, but the uh, second attempt was about the the great agony that he that he felt. Mm -hmm. That his family doesn't um, that that his family um, didn't care for him mm -hmm. that time. Then he was just eating a um, um, overripe food, something like that, sir. Um, Bones or fish like that. Then he is not belong to the family anymore because of his condition. Now, before we go to the literary criticism, the application of the literary criticism using different approaches, I would like to ask from the audience, especially the 
outside oh, audience or here your classmates if okay, there are let's say clarifications from them just to, to just to further the knowledge about the story just to clarify what is the story all about if there is anything like suggestion or comment on the report because we are also tasked to critique on your report so this is the animated version upon how you reported us with different, uh, different parts, parts, plotted parts of the story from exposition Shall to rising action, position. climax, then if there is a falling action, then the last one is the day no man. Yeah. I would like to ask also from Ms. Sagalis if would you like to, to improve just to clarify doubts if there are things that the reporter failed to explain what is the story all about just to make us you know fully of course just like just to make us understand fully what is the story okay What is it? So what about you, Mr. Gallis, the, the report of uh, Lister? So I think you have also the knowledge about that. Can you kindly share what you think that needs to be corrected of his report? Because the other, uh, the, he said a while ago that um, so the conflict. For the okay, for the conflict. Now he, he said a while ago that the conflict was man versus himself, man versus man. No, it was not stated there by Lister's re report, right? So it's about man versus himself. Why did he say that? In your opinion, is it clearly stated also in the report that the conflict focused only on man versus himself? Oh well, uh, I would. Uh, before you answer, can you um, turn up, please? That's uh, the right way, I guess. Yes. Okay, so that's... Thank you for telling me the right way to, I get to ask questions. But basically, yeah, um, I would think that uh, the story is... Um, the reporter only focused on on, on Rigor himself and uh, his transformation. Um, what about the other characters there? The yes. The protagonist um, and the... I think the, the something that needs to be improved on is uh, uh, as we criticize or as we uh, try to look into um, a story, yeah. if we ever read another story again, is that we have to look into the details which are not literal and which are not obvious in the story. So um, what I want to say is that uh, you also need to focus on the meaning of the the transformation, um, the yes. feeling, and the emotion. They repeated the uh, saying transformation, transformation. Uh, yeah, the, the feelings you know, and like the that. emotion of the entire story. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, what is it for us, for us reader? Uh, what can we get from from the entire story? Yeah. What lesson? That's what we, we expect from the reporter, of course. Yes. Uh, uh, the total. Uh, could we say uh, their opinion about the story and. Um, yeah, what, what was the real meaning? What was the real meaning of the story? We should not be more literal about the story, so it should be focused on the, the connotation the reporter, sir, in, in, in um, general. Yeah, it's about the implication of the story, not not too literal. But you 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 were repeating several times about the transformation, then mentioning also the character. What about the, the round characters and the flat characters? There are there. Other extra characters or any person who is also a supporting actor or mm -hmm. actress or supporting uh, character there, only the antagonist and the protagonist, or are there protagonists and antagonists? That's why we that's what I am looking for about the round characters and the oh, flat yes. characters there. Are there flat characters and round characters? What was the setting also of the story? What was the language used in the story? Of course, we understood that it is English, English. but you have to go deeper to that kind of language. Is it a vulgar language? 
archaic language, something like that, is up to you how you say that. What kind of language? Is it vulgar? Or something like there was such a thing like profanity? No. That, that's why. Of course, it is understood that uh, the language is English, right? But you have to let us understand that language yes, is English, but it is a simple. It's a simple language, English language. You can understand that. Yes. You said that a while ago that it's hard. You have to read it's that hard several for times. Me because, uh, because of the twisting, but uh, when I really understand the. It's too broad to say. It's too broad to say. It's so hard because of the twisting. What do you mean by twisting in in, in that uh, story? There was a twisted fact, twisted event that it it, it it happened this way. That suddenly it happened differently. Yes, sir. A kind of. A, a sort kind of, of. A sort of. Yes, sir. For example, can you give us an example? What was that situation wherein there was a, a twisting moment? So it's of for that? example, so Part. from the first uh, one to one to fifteen chapters, yeah, uh, it, it talks about we were. Then by the time that's up, when Brigor becomes no other supporting yes. character is there always. No, there is that character. Sir, but for me, it is not um, useful the Brigor. Without that, without them, you cannot make up a story. There must yes, be antagonists. There must be point, there must story. be extra people there yes. in the story. Without yes. them, the story cannot cannot succeed. Cannot succeed. That it can be a, it can't be a story yeah. without the round round characters there. Yes. That's not your point, but based on the story, and that's what I have understood about the story, uh, they are not uh, really useful about the story because I could um, I could manage myself and I could manage all of these students outside about my two classmates that if I'm gonna use thus uh, I'm gonna use uh, those strategies, it might be help helpful for me to do the great well. That's why you omitted some of them. Yes, sir. Because it was useless. It was useless. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what is the, the moral of the story? The moral of the story. Yes. That's the thing I really want to ask, to ask from you, sir. Yeah, that's right. Yes. What is the moral of the story? The moral story there is even if how hard. Can we choose a phrase or word? And explain that to us. Why did you choose the word or phrase as the moral of the story? You explain that. You support that. You justify that word. Yes, sir. Oh. When, um, um, when his father was trying to... Give me it. first the phrase or word. Oh, okay. I... The There's no need for you to <laughs> construct yeah, in a I sentence. Do not construct in a sentence. Oh. Just only a phrase. A phrase. For example, beside me, uh, outside of the, the house, that is a phrase. Ah, yes, oh, sir. Like, yes, sir. Um, an insect have... in the field, that is a phrase. Yes, I'm going to use the, um, the phrase. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, uh, was trying that is not a phrase anymore you're explaining do not explain just give me what is it revenge it can be revenge versus something like that revenge yes, versus sir. or magical versus that is a phrase there there must be another word to associate that for example magic versus what reality magic versus reality adventure something like adventure and reality that is a phrase yes, so give me the phrase of your choice Based also on the content of your report of your story, yes, and explain based on your on your moral of the story. So that I can apply the moral value there. Yes, by giving us by sharing with us the phrase, you can you can explain us. You can expound more on that given phrase of yours, chosen phrase of yours, or a word. If you cannot give us a phrase. It is okay also for us to that you can give only a word and then explain that further based also on what I have asked about, about the moral of the story. Again? Rigor doesn't want to eat anymore. I'm not asking you to give me the sentence. I said a phrase or a word. I, I give you only the important thing. Yeah, but do not give me a sentence. I said a phrase or a word. 
You choose only a word. A word, for example, Linster, that is a word. Building is a word, right? Or you can say, building building in Minglanilia or University of the Visayas in Minglanilia campus. That is not a sentence. That is also a phrase, right? So based on that phrase or a word, either of the two, I want you to explain as the basis for the moral of the story. Is it very hard for you to, to do that? I said, uh, the, the moral, if if the more about friendship, why is it friendship? About love, uh, about what? About love, is it love in the family or is it about hard work? You can relate to the story of the hard word. Work, sir. Yes, sir. Already, yes, sir, based on the story, sir. Hard work and the family, that can be a Hard work, so hard work yes, and the family. the family. Why did you say that? Can, can, can you explain that yes, as the moral sir. of the story? Going, what uh, is the moral yes. of the story based on hard work and the family? Hard work and the family, no. yes. Um, in hard work, sir, when he was working, he really worked. He really worked for 15 years. Mm -hmm. Yes, for 15 years. And the moral there is um, he is working for his family, of course. And in 15 years of service, he hasn't committed any upset. Does the story yes. really give us a moral, yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that is your moral of the story that mm. hard work in the family. Hard work. Hard work in the family or hard work hard work and the family and the family or in the family? In the family. Okay, hard work in the family. Mm. So that is the basis for you that the, the moral of the story yes, is hard sir. work like, um, in the family. The moral there, the moral there is was I like sacrificing the base. The the first. The okay, the life sacrificing. Yes, life that sacrificing is the moral. Because um you're aiming, you're aiming to help your family. Yes, and that is your goal. Then the second is um, you're going to to have, you have more uh, patience. The moral of the story. You have a lot of uh, have more patience. You have a lot of phrases. Sacrifice. Only okay, sacrifice about oh. life sacrificing. Mm. But of course, you have more patience in order for you to sacrifice. So you mean life sacrificing and patience. Mm. Yes, so the two problem. words serve as the moral the of the story. the story. Life sacrificing and patience. And patience. You should. Have patience yes. in so, yourself and yourself in and, your family. and of course and in, in your endeavor. In your endeavor. Patience in your endeavor.